Hello, and welcome to CDOT's online compliance training. In this video, we will give you a tour of your B2G Now profile and explain some basic navigation in the B2G Now system. Once you are logged into B2G Now, you will see your B2G Now homepage. This is where you will find your system dashboard and can navigate the rest of the B2G Now system. Your dashboard may vary slightly based on your settings and projects, but in any case, this is where you will find your most commonly used links in the B2G Now system. Here, you will find a reflection of any and all active records pertaining to your organization. If you notice any information missing from your dashboard, please reach out to customer support via the Help and Support menu on the left-hand side of your screen. The Contract section of your dashboard displays a summary of the contracts your organization is involved with. These will be displayed in categories of Total Contracts, Open Contracts, Contracts Ending Within Three Months, and Closed Contracts. If you click the underlined contracts link in your dashboard, it will take you to a list of all your active contracts where, by selecting view beside any contract, you will be able to view and manage the records for that specific contract. The contract audit section will display your total audits, incomplete audits, any past due audits, and any audits with discrepancies. The certification section will give you an overview of your current certification. The Contractor's Registration slash Prequalification section will show you your active and accepted registrations and display any registrations or prequalifications that will be expiring soon. The Utilization Plan section will display your approved utilization plans and any that have been returned for editing and resubmission. On your home page, you will also see the Key Action section. This section is usually on the upper right of the home page and contains shortcut links to your unfinished applications, registrations, certifications, and so forth. Here, you will also find a shortcut to a list of all available B2G Now training classes, which are free to take and occur on a regularly rotating basis. Next, you will find the alerts section, where you will find any alerts sent specifically to you for your attention. You should also receive an email notification for any new alerts in B2G Now, which is a good reason to always make sure your account information is accurate and up to date. Items in this section should be considered time sensitive and should be resolved as soon as possible. To review the alert, click the View link. Instructions to address the alert will be displayed. Once you've completed the requested action, be sure to click the Deactivate link beside the appropriate item in the Alerts section on your home page. Located below your dashboard section, you will find the Certification Center. This is where you can see all active certifications for your organization as well as their renewal dates. If you have a certification with CDOT, this is where you will check to see when it will need to be renewed. Remember to allow yourself time to complete and submit any certification renewals before your current certification lapses. If you are missing any certifications in this section, click the Submit a Request link and provide the information requested to have those certifications added. Be aware, certification renewals and updates must be submitted through CDOT and you can find a link to the registration submission page below your listed current certifications. Also on your homepage, you will find the System News section. This is your direct connection to the B2G Now system. This section will display any new or special features in the system available to you as a user. You can access the system wish list, where you can give B2G Now suggestions and requests for features in the system. This wish list system is used by B2G Now to gauge user feedback and push out new features and enhancements to the system. Here, you will also see information regarding training and managing your organization in B2G Now. The Configure section allows you to configure your account settings and provides quick access to project information. If you haven't already, we recommend you click the Edit Your User Account Settings link in this section to verify that all of the information for your organization and any users is accurate and up to date. Also, make sure to visit this link if any of your organization or user information changes so that you can be sure all communication reaches you. Next, we will review the navigation menu on the left-hand side of your screen. At the top, you will find the Home button, represented by the CDOT logo. Clicking this will automatically take you back to your homepage to view your dashboard. Below the Home button are Forward and Back arrows, a Refresh button, and a Printer icon, which will save your current screen as a printable PDF. 
In this menu bar, any selection with a double arrow beside it indicates an expanding menu with more navigation options. Your view menu provides another way to reach many of the items you also find on your dashboard, but this allows you access to your records without having to navigate back to the home page. Here, you can check your alerts, view a list of your current certifications and applications for certification, view a list of your assigned contracts, which will be separated for projects on which you are a prime contractor or a subcontractor, view a list of your contract audits, view any workforce audits for your organization, view your assigned concessions if applicable, categorize by whether you are a concessionaire, subtenant, or supplier, view any concession audits, view any pending or approved utilization plans for your organization, view a list of current outreach campaigns, view a list of available events and training classes, view any active and inactive registrations and pre-qualifications for your organization, view a list of bids available open for solicitation, view any messages, which will also be where you find any help and support message you've submitted to B2G Now, access any accounts you've connected to your B2G Now account, and during the pre-construction stages, you can also find a list of any pending subrecipients and a list of accessible projects. Your search menu lets you find specific information in the B2G Now system. Don't forget, just like other search engines, the more specific your search can be, the better. But you can search using information such as a business or DBA name, a user or contacts name, or even a city or keyword search. Here, you can search the National B2G Now database of vendors, search all vendors currently certified with CDOT, search for a specific contract, search available bid solicitations and proposals, search for concessions, search for any outreach campaigns, or search for other B2G Now users. Your message menu provides a secure email server for you to communicate with CDOT and B2G Now. Messages sent here are security encrypted to protect your information. If you receive any messages in B2G Now, a notification will be sent to the email address associated with your account. Here, you can check any messages between you and CDOT or B2G Now Help and Support. You can also contact B2G Now Support to submit a customer support request to B2G Now. Remember, if you are sending a request to B2G, please be sure to provide as much information about the issue you are experiencing as possible to ensure the fastest response time. You can also submit any feedback directly to B2G Now or report any technical issues you experience to B2G Now. Your settings menu is where you will ensure that all of your information as a user and an organization is accurate and up to date. Here, you can update your account password, edit any account settings such as your contact information, address, and account preferences, view and edit your general business information, view a list of any assigned commodity codes, view and edit your list of current employees, view your workforce composition reports, view your active or inactive registrations and prequalifications, and view any accounts you've connected to your B2G Now account, for example, your LCP Tracker account. This will allow you to see all of the information for all organizations connected to you as a single user. Your Help and Support menu is your direct line to B2G Now customer support. Here, you can contact B2G Now customer support, find B2G Now program cook guides, find B2G Now training manuals, find and register for B2G Now training classes, view additional training documents, access the B2G Now training video library, find information and submit system ideas to improve B2G Now for you as a user, access B2G Now video tutorials, submit feedback to B2G Now about your experience with the system, report any technical issues to B2G Now, and test that you are receiving email notifications from B2G Now to the right email account. Now we will go over how to conduct a search in B2G Now. To begin, click the Search section on the left side menu and select what category in which you would like to conduct your search. Today, we will demonstrate searching for a contract and searching for a vendor, but the process will remain largely the same no matter what category you search. To search for a contract, locate and click the Contract link in the search menu. You will be taken to the search screen. Enter any pertinent information to aid in your search and click the Search button at the top of the page. We would like to remind you that the most effective way to find and reference contracts is with the five-digit alphanumeric contract code, example C12345. This will make searching for contracts and referencing contracts by CDOT staff 
much more efficient. Select the blue View link beside the appropriate contract. When searching a contract, CDOT recommends using your five-digit contract number to find the appropriate contract, but you can use other information. However, these may provide less specific results. To search for a vendor, locate the vendor link in the search menu. You will be taken to the search screen. Enter any pertinent information to aid in your search. Then you can select the search button. Select the blue go to link beside the appropriate vendor or the vendor's name. When searching for a vendor, CDOT recommends using a vendor number if available, but otherwise suggests including as much information in your vendor search as possible to receive the most narrow results. Now we'll review your contract management screen. This is the screen you will see once you've selected view beside a specific contract. You will notice a series of navigation tabs at the top of the screen, and you should already be on the Contract Main tab to begin. The very top information bar below the navigation tabs in gray is your quick view for your contract information. It will give you the contract total, start and projected end dates, the project name and number, and the prime contractor's organization name. Below this bar is the contents of your contract main page. Here you will see the general information for the contract, including your contract title, contract number, system transaction number, start date, projected end date, contract value, and designated compliance officer. Below the contract information will be the information for the assigned users on the contract, showing current contract assignments and general compliance information. And lastly, at the bottom of the contract main page, you will see the contract status and action section, which will have a list of your contracts and their current progress status. Your View Contract tab is where you can access all of the detailed information for your contract, such as the contract name, contract number, the contract holder, and the current contract value. You can also find the start and projected end dates for the contract. You will find information for the prime contractor, including their organization name, their vendor number, and their mailing address. This page is also where you'll find information on the buyer or project manager for the project, including their organization, user number, contact person, phone number, email, and mailing address. There will also be a list of any applicable commodity codes on this screen. And lastly, this is where you will find information on specific contract goals for DBE and ESB participation. The Subcontractor tab is where you will find all of the information about the subcontractors for the project. Here you will find a comprehensive list of all approved subcontractors on a given project. The subcontractor list is organized into tiers, indicating under which organization each subcontractor was hired. Subcontractors with a 1 beside their name are first-tier contractors, hired directly by the prime. Entries with a 2 beside them are second-tier subcontractors, hired by any first-tier subcontractors, and so forth. When looking for your firm within the subcontractor list of the contract, you will be listed under the hiring contractor first. Using this list, you can locate each subcontractor's information, including their organization name, any certifications, the amount which they are subcontracted for, their vendor or user number, whether they are included in the project's DBE goal, and whether they have received final payment. The next tab is your Compliance Audit List tab, where you will find a complete list of any compliance audits applied to the project. Here, you will find all the associated audit information, including the audit period, the status of the audit, the status of any payments, the date the audit was posted, and whether there are any further actions needing your attention. The Messages tab is a way to access your communication conducted via the B2G Now system. Further, messages sent or received through B2G Now and any communication with B2G Now help and support will also be found here. In the Comments tab, you can add comments to your project. These comments are viewable by the other users in your organization, but are not viewable by any subcontractors or CDOT staff. Lastly, we have your Reports tab, which is where you can find any and all reports compiled with data from your projects or contracts in B2G Now. Always be sure to check if B2G Now may have a report that may be helpful for managing contract progress and participation. Your vendor profile is where you can view and manage your organization's information in B2G Now. Each tab at the top of this screen will take you to a different section of your vendor record. 
The first tab at the top of your vendor profile is the General tab. This section will display all of your general business information such as your business name, email, phone number, and your tax ID number. You can edit any of this information at any time, but always ensure to select the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen to ensure any changes you've made are saved. Next is your Users tab. This is where you will find a list of all user accounts for your organization. To view any user's information, select the View link beside their name to view their user information. If any user has been inactive in the system for over two years, they will have a shaded entry on the user list. To add a user to this list, click the Add User button above the user list and fill in the requested information. The next tab is the Commodity Codes tab. Here, you can find a list of any commodity or service codes that have been assigned to your organization. These codes aren't specific to any project or contract, but instead are provided to use in describing an organization's work areas. Certified commodity codes will be found in the certification sections of your B2G Now profile. If you find you need to add any commodity codes, click the Add Commodity Codes button above the list and complete the requested information. Your Contacts tab is where you can maintain your organization's contact people. To select a contact person, Use the drop-down menu to find the appropriate user. If the user you wish to add as a contact person isn't listed in the drop-down menu, click the Add User button at the bottom of the page and complete the requested information. The next tab is your Employee tab, where you can view and edit your current employee list. To add an employee, click the Add Employee button on the upper right of the screen and complete the requested information. You can also deactivate inactive or former employees by selecting the checkbox beside their name and clicking the Deactivate button. The Certifications tab is where you can view your current certifications, as well as view any applications for certification and their status. Any renewals or updates for CDOT certifications must be done through CDOT. Certifications through the City and County of Denver must be renewed by contacting them. The top section of the page will display your current active certifications. You can view any of your certifications by selecting the View link to the right. You can also add an alert for yourself to remind you when certifications require renewal. To do so, simply click the Add Date Alert link to the right of the certification. Any alert you set will send an email to the email address provided in your account information, as well as display an alert in your Key Alert section on your home page on the set date. Be aware, certification renewals and updates must be submitted through CDOT and you can find a link to the registration submission page below your listed current certifications. Any applications you've begun that have not completed approval will be located in the Applications section at the bottom of the Certifications page. Next is the Contracts tab, where you can find a list of all contracts your organization is currently assigned to. Your contracts will be categorized based on projects for which you are the prime contractor and those on which you are a subcontractor or supplier. On this list, you can also see details for each contract, such as any status alerts, the current subcontract amount, and the amount that has been paid to date. To see the details of any contract on this list, simply click the View link to the left of the desired contract and you will be taken to that contract's contract management page. On your Workforce Composition slash EEO tab, you will find a list of any available Workforce Composition reports that have been submitted on behalf of your organization. Lastly, you will find your Pre-Qualifications tab. This tab is where you can see your organization's active pre-qualifications. Here, you can also check for the current status or any necessary actions for your pre-qualifications, as well as edit the names of your department contact people. From this list, you can view any of your pre-qualifications by clicking the View link to the left of the appropriate entry. And as always, Please remember to click Log Off at the bottom of the left menu bar before leaving B2G Now to keep your information secure. Thank you for watching our tutorial. You should now have a basic understanding of how to navigate the B2G Now system. If you have any questions about the material covered in this tutorial, please reach out to Katherine Wood, our Civil Rights and Subcontractor Compliance Specialist at lita.wood at state.co.us or call 720 nine nine zero seven two six six